Jim, the, the uh, tech community and venture capitalists and the like, like love to talk about mythical beasts. And uh, they say we now have a unicorn running loose in St. Louis, uh, a company called Varsity Tutors, founded here uh, by a you know, Wash U graduate, uh, still, you know, still based here, uh, is, is planning to go public at a value of about $1.7 billion. And if, you're in the, uh, if you pass the billion dollar mark, uh, you're considered a unicorn. Well, this is perhaps a uh, short horned unicorn. You know, it's not that big. It has about 500 employees. Uh, uh, but, you know, it, it's, a, it's certainly a success here. And it's, it's, you know, it's a bit of an indication of about how a, a regional economy really works. You know, yeah. this is, uh, it's not the 50 large companies, you and big employers that you and I could name. It's 2,000 others. And it's ones like this that start real small and get big or get moderate sized. 500 sure. employees is a moderate size. And, and they're, re they're really the backbone of the economy. And you, Varsity Tutors is a bit unusual because it's public facing and you hear of it. A lot of these wow. companies you never hear of. They're widget makers, they're niche <laughs> software producers, but they're all over the place. That's and, true. Uh, there are a lot of like business to business software sure. companies or, you know, the, some of the, uh, you know, biotech companies are making medical devices or, the, you know, that take uh, 10 or 20 years to get out of the laboratory and into the, you know, into the, uh, you know, in, into the marketplace, uh, but but Varsity Tutors is no overnight success story either. They were actually founded in 2007. Like, you know, like a lot of these uh, startups, have got a you know a very compelling origin story. Uh, Chuck Cohn started the business in his dorm room at, at Washington yeah. University. Um, he had uh, had some of his uh, fellow students helped him through a calculus class. He <laughs> thought, well. Uh, I use tutors in high school. There's probably a lot of kids that could, could take advantage of these guys' skills. So we put together a website yeah. and, uh, you know, marketed their services to high school students and uh, kind of uh, build it from there. Sure. It's kind of a gig company. You know, the people who do the tutoring yes. are, are not their employees. You know, they're, they're right. these contract workers. And they've expanded beyond simply tutoring to giving, uh, you know, uh, uh, mass classes, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. at this point, they're doing professional certification. So they've they've moved up from high school to college to to professional. Yes, professional certification. They do they do they have a test prep business. Yep. Uh, do, you know, do classes to prep for the SAT or the LSAT or the M MCAT? You know all those all those uh, you know kind of exams. Uh, it's it's uh, they uh, they contend that the whole uh, you know kind of a lot of the education infrastructure is going to move online over the next few years, uh, and the, uh, uh -huh. they're well, going to lead that that revolution. Well, if you look at their revenue, they got a really big boost from the pandemic when a lot right. of education had to move online, and you know parents are looking around for tutors for their kids because you know this, you know this online, you know learning through the public school systems was not was not working very well. Right. But the pandemic will end. Uh, I don't know whether you know. Well, but the the argument is if if uh, you know if if that the level of tutoring is working for the uh, you know for the for the tutors and for the uh, the students, then uh, you know it'll 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 continue to grow. It uh, it's there's uh, you know it, it's uh, it's certainly it's certainly very uh, you know very efficient and effective. They use uh, they've got like artificial intelligence algorithms to match students with, you know, kind of compatible tutors based on, you know, based on personality and, and, uh, you know, and, and needs. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a very sophisticated uh, product offering and uh, they, they've, uh, they've, they've, you know, kind of, I think they've kind of built the company right. Uh, they, they seem to have built it right. They've certainly managed to sell the concept first to venture yeah. capitalists yeah. and now to Wall Street. And as they go public, of course, the venture capitalists can cash out. And yeah. you know, the founders, uh, you know, become, you know, instant millionaires if they're not already and they're much more liquid in their assets. Well, uh, and that's, uh, yeah, that's an interesting uh, thing for, for St. Louis. We will have a, a, a lot of... Uh, Relatively young millionaires with you know with money to invest perhaps in other startups. Um, I th I think uh, this is a big uh, boost, you know, big shot in the arm for the uh, 
startup community in St. Louis, both just uh, by the example that it sets and by, you know, kind of the, 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 the money that it, that it may free up. Oh, sure. I'm, I'm sure at Wash U, you know, there are other students who are, you know, mm-hmm. sitting in their dorm rooms thinking maybe by the time I'm 30, I can be a multimillionaire and, and you know, run my own company. Uh, right, right. You know. And now Varsity was one of the early companies that uh, managed to attract, uh, you know, big name venture capital uh, firms from, sure. the, uh, from the West Coast. Um, a, a, a few others have had that success, but this, you know, this, uh, you know, the, the venture capital community is kind of like a, uh, you know, a small, uh, small group. They, they all talk to each other and they know, uh, you know, hey, these guys found a, a, found a hot startup in St. Louis. Maybe there are others. I think this, you know, this could, could, this could help put St. Louis even more on the map. Well, I, I certainly hope so, because a lot of these small companies with good ideas have a lot of difficulty in raising capital. Yeah. I mean, you know, the venture capitalists are, are very savvy and actually very stingy. You know, uh-huh. you have to have uh-huh. a very good idea uh-huh. to sell, sell to them to raise it. And a lot of these guys, of course, you know, bank lending is is impossible for them because they're yeah. not really making a profit yet. Mm-hmm. And they're looking mm-hmm. for angels. Well, you and I have been around long enough to remember when St. Louis was really, you know, kind of a dead zone for entrepreneurial activity. The uh, Council on Competitiveness came here in 2004 and said, you know, there, there basically is no entrepreneurial spirit in, in, in St. Louis. There's no capital. There's, uh, there's yeah. no, you know, uh, in, incentive or, uh, you know, it, it's just not part of the culture to, you know, to, to, start, a, uh, to start a company here. So I, I think we've come a long way in, uh, you know, in the last couple of decades. Well, back then, back, I think we always had people with good ideas here. Yeah, yeah. The new thing is the venture capital. Mm-hmm. That's what came in. Right. You know, the right. ability to round up some of the money that that is sitting in these yeah. uh, in these families and these investment companies that are here and direct it to those to those. That's ideas. right. We have we have uh, some successful uh, funds like uh, Cultivation Capital. We've got you know like the Bio Generator. Um, there, there, you know, we have. Uh, Put together some homegrown capital, as well as uh, you know, f- firms like Varsity be- becoming uh, promising enough to uh, get the coastal money to, to to flow here to come come in. And you yeah. know, like like many unicorns, this company is not yet making money. Yeah. Uh, so so it is it is a leap of faith. But first right. by the venture capitalists, and now right. now Wall Street, they're buying the story that you know this this surge in online learning will will last after the pandemic. Hope they're right.